I, I can hear it. So hello, everybody. What's up? It's me again. I'm live. They gave me back my uh, my my stallion. <laughs> if you hear an echo, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna get this started quickly. All right. Hey, Douglas. What's up, Kyle? Um, everybody else out there, whoever can hear me, let me uh, let me know, guys, if you can hear the music. And if it's too loud, let me know too. I'll turn it down some. Anyways, welcome, 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 Scott. I'm going to jump on this thing. We're going to start the show. Let's do it. Go up into my tornado. Hey, Garrison. Been here sitting here praying for you, bro. Anyways, welcome, everybody. Hope you can hear me okay. Here we go. Without delay, let it rip. Crazy, right? What I'm showing you right here, guys, is a portal. I'm actually showing you the end of the video first. I like doing that. And um, a lot of this I've already put on Facebook already. So join me on Facebook and you'll get a preview of a lot of my videos I'm doing. But anyways, what I want you to see, I got one hour to show you this. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you how this thing comes in. Let me turn it down a little bit more, right? How's that, guys? Okay, good. Anyways, praise God. I prayed over the channel. I prayed for all you people. But check it out. What I'm showing you is I'm just going through some pictures right now. And I'm going to show you how this uh, this whole mothership... It, you got to think of like um, Buck Rogers in the 25th century, right? With the big poofy ships. I swear to you. It's, it's, it's sci-fi looking. So, I, you know, I, I was recording this and I'm like, Lord... Should I show it? And he's like, yeah, you should. And uh, one of the things I got to say is my channel is like an inoculation of what you're... This is like a preview from my prophetic view of this. My prophetic eye as a watchman. This is like a preview of some of the stuff you might see in the future. Now, seeing this and being here now, it inoculates you from being freaked out. So you're going to be the person on the street that grabs somebody, let's say, and calms them down from going nuts because this is going to people are going to start seeing stuff and they're going to go nuts you think they're nuts now so anyways um what's the purpose of them opening portals principalities powers and spiritual wickedness in high places you guys hear me okay I'm not seeing the chat work, so I don't know if you guys are talking a lot. But anyways. Just stick around, guys. Um, I haven't done a live show in a while, so you know how it goes. Um, if something goes wrong, you guys will let me know. Here's, here's Nibiru right here coming through. It's just clear as day, the difference in the blue. I mean, this thing is not as close as it, it would appear to be because it's far off. And so it's, it's, it's out there. 
some of the pictures I'm getting ready to put up in the next two videos between Gills and uh, one of those lost files I found that uh, got me taken down once already. I want to show it again. <laughs> you guys hang on. Um, so anyways, there's Nebaru. That's a good shot of it. Switch the music and be a little bit quieter here. Some sobering music. It's a doodoc. It's a 7,000 year old instrument. If you guys got any questions, just let me know. We'll let this thing run. We got an hour of this, so when we get to the portal. I'll, I'll say some things. This is in real time. I'm doing this while I'm kind of chatting to you. Yeah, Kyle. Absolutely. Um, you know, you got you got multiple dimensions. I think I, I could probably explain at least seven, but not here right now. <laughs> but there's, uh, you got the second heavens as a, as a different dimension. It's the spirit realm. And we think of it like, you know, the stars and all that, but it's also the spirit realm. And um, that front cover picture, it showed a lot. I don't know if you guys seen that, but. Now what I'm doing here is I've already had this, I'm, I'm presetting these where it's like I'm doing the same filter on every one of them. And I'm showing you the big dark blue behind it. But there's some other things in here. And, you know, I'm not like a scientist on this. Uh, you know, I could explain it about as much as you can. Something spiritually I could explain more so. But this is never right here. And, you know, you see it as a blue sky. But have you noticed there's a lot of blue clouds? And people have been confirming it. You know, it's not me. Because I see a blue cloud cover the, the sun, right? No, it's impossible. So, I don't think we have blue clouds yet. But like right here, I see more than just that cloud too in there. I see some ships and some things going on. <laughs> I see two light sources. So a lot of this I can explain about as much as you can. What I'm doing is I'm just putting a filter on it, enhancing the heck out of it so you can really see through all the chemtrails. Now this piece right here, the reason I even showed it to you I'm just going to trip it out a little here and just intensify the color. But the reason I showed you, because there was an hour and a half missing. So there was an hour and a half eclipse. And this was um, 7 o'clock in the morning. Facing east in Alaska, right? Igwig or Ig Igluig. I put a half hour, but there was actually, when I went back and looked at it, I made a mistake on that. It was an hour and a half. Oh, no, it was an hour and a half, right? So what happened, I wanted to show you this because let your imagination just work a little bit. And can you imagine what it looked like for an hour and a half they took out? So a lot of times when I'm in Alaska, guys, I track down on other cameras, like the time here is 7 o'clock, and it was all the way until uh, about 8.30, almost 9.00. And I started looking east in that same area, and I caught some other shots. You'll you'll see them, but yeah. See, in California, I'm starting to see where you know I even filmed some of them where the the clouds. I'm more so on a lot of the uh, Mexico cams. You can see a lot of colors co covering the sky. Like this is Alaska. So I want you to see how. Um, you know what's going on here in the sky and i just i do this is all one day on the on the 20 i think it was the 28th um yeah i think this was all the 28th now right here i want to show you some things that are in these clouds look at this this is what caught me here the shape of this and so what i did was i started filtering i started looking around and i had to go backwards You know what else I noticed too, guys? I was reading yours, Scott. You know what I noticed is that um, 
a lot of times when there's a uh, craft in the sky, the clouds, when you start filtering them, they're actually dirty looking, like exhaust dirty. I'm serious. So some, some interesting stuff. Um, so I'm just kind of going through this whole day. See, so I started out off the cuff. Now this right here is an asteroid or a rock flying through the atmosphere. And one of the things I, uh, I learned a lot from Roger Paul talking about asteroids, he knows quite a bit the way they come in, they twist, the cloud twist. It does like a twisting motion, so I'll show it to you. So, you know, you look at this sky and uh, all the chemtrails, you just look at it and go, what a weird sky. But really, when you dig into it, this middle rock right here, the black thing, right in the middle between the blue and the white and the orange on the bottom, that's like a moon or something. Now, this is the end. This was actually the end of the film I threw on the front of it. Then I'm going to go into this portal how this portal uh, comes in you'll see it far off and the reason you know I'm not trying to give Satan any kind of glory guys fallen angels but you know this is um, like an inoculation there's no fear here in Christ there's no fear in my atmosphere there's no fear I'm not you know propagating fear and I know what the Bible says that there'll be an incredible signs not just a sun spoon moon and red moon and eclipsing blood moons but there'll be other signs too just like there was back in the days of noah you know uh, like right now they're doing dna manipulation i heard mike from around the world and uh, paul begley around i can't compete with those guys they're superstars when it comes to youtube i can't compete see you see so just a normal sky right You're just looking at this normal sky well, watch what this normal sky as it moves in every 10 minutes this is Alaska. Boom, you see that curling, that cloud, the upper cloud is curling. And then I got this thing. I said, there, there you go. With these lights in front of it. But the big blue cloud that you just saw, it's gone now. But that big blue cloud, I made a, I made a long transition here. Sorry, guys. Um, was never real. Okay, let's get to the let's get to the meat and the potatoes. Okay, it just gets weird, you know, guys. It just gets weird. And you're I'm on this side trying to narr get, narrate something that's insanely. Uh, it's crazy. But as you watch this thing, I'm I'm doing a close up shot because narrate a little better. But this cloud, you know, you first look at it. It's just cloud. I put a dark filter on it, right? Okay, so as I go through these clouds, I'm going to point stuff out. Um, I noticed that the light, there was a light within the cloud. And I'm thinking, nah, it's just the light reflecting from the sun. But you notice this light, it's a little bit more intense there in the corner. Notice the L shape of that cloud. And as I'm pointing to it up here, there's stuff in that white cloud. Now, I'm not making this up. I just watched Donnie Daytona. And uh, I don't know if I have it on this video. I think I might. But um, they, they, Donnie, Donnie Daytona does the drone. Anyways, he did one with a cloud. And it had like a deity sitting on a cloud doing like a meditation sit thing. And it was insane, guys. So these are you know, the reason I'm showing you. Because why are these portals opening up? They're opening up other dimensions. The Bible says we fight not against flesh and blood. So, you, you know, in Roman, Revelation 12, it talks about the dragon coming down a great fury one third of the stars which is his fallen angels come with them and we're seeing it manifest in the people more and more killing cops and all this stuff going on uh racial riots um now keep watching watch how this cloud you gotta look let your imagination go for a minute you see up here weird objects right and i said what's going on now, you remember, if you if you watch my videos, guys, for the last year and a half, you remember Hotel Hell, where I declouded um, a type of ship. And I've caught another time a, a huge portal. This one's a square portal. Um, it just looks like normal clouds, right? But look at this thing up here with the eyes. Look at this thing. We fight not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, 
and spiritual wickedness in high places. So God's allowing me to see this. Just recently, I showed you a video where God wrote this guy now. He answered the question. Okay, and then I seen I showed you another video a few days later where I asked him to see the angels so I could show you guys, and he did. It was clear angels, the faces and all. This was a little surprise on this because, you know, I felt the demonic on it, but this ain't no chance. Watch this filter. This ain't no chance. Look at this. Now, keep watching because you're going to see. And I think that's a spiritual entity, okay? I'm trying to get weird. I'm just trying to. This is last days, folks. You think you're already until you see something like this. And I'm like, do I want to show anybody this thing? Yeah, I do. You know why? I show my friends. Wake them up. I'm not looking at your your chat guys at all. Now you guys preach it because you know I'm just kind of over here looking at it close up. Now look off in the distance down, even on the bottom there. The distance. Um, this is the bottom of the ship right here. I know uh, it looks insane, don't it? <laughs> But I figured, you know, Donnie Daytona got on there and said, guys, I'm not crazy. Just look at that. There's a ship right there. There's a ship right here. And remember me showing you that um, <clears throat> UFO Chronicles clip with, uh, I think his name was Mike Schratt. Anyways, he talked about these crafts. So I don't know if this is a joint effort between Fallen Angels and or government or what, but there's a lot going on in here. And I'm just pointing stuff out. I'm not saying this is uh, totally accurate. There's guys that actually will show you ships and their names for these clouds. I'm not going to go there. But what I want to show you is this, inside this cloud is where this light source is coming from. So I think it's a lot of power going off there. I'm going to look at your, I'm going to look at your comments. I'm curious. <laughs> Scott, you're right. The skies will roll back. You guys hear me okay? I think I'm lagging a lot of my, even my chat. It took a while to get the bandwidth to work on this, guys. But anyways, keep looking at this because... sobering because it is real there's something really going on um, this is Alaska there ain't nobody up there where I'm there's one road is dirt probably 150 miles before the next dirt road now see here on the right when I say blue clouds <laughs> you see that blue dark dark blue right there that's what I call blue clouds they're not actually blue clouds it's it's some stuff going on it's not blue clouds Look how blue these skies are with a little bit of filter. Golly. We used to have blue clouds before we dehazed them. Now, the only thing I've really done to this thing was dehazed it, and I brought the gamma down a little bit, just so the light will come out. And there's, you know, just dehazing it actually does that. I did the corrective color. But now watch this. See the back right here? And the front. Now watch this light shift around. I know this is nuts telling you guys this stuff, but look at this. Come on. Yeah, right, Douglas. That's what, um, remember, Dr. Albers, we was talking about the illumination from the friction with inside the cloud. But I think there's more than that because you see around it, there's a lot of UFOs bouncing around. I'm not looking at a lot of your comments, guys. I'm just real close up doing this. It's hard to do this and that at the same time. But, <clears throat> but anyways, um, See, and closer and closer, you get to see the ship come out. There's actually one big ship. And I think when you see it from a distance in a minute here, um, it's pretty mind-blowing. So the reason I'm showing you is, is to prepare your hearts for the weirdness that's going to happen. There'll be great signs and wonders in the sky from the Antichrist. And a lot of these ships will be uh, parked over doing light shows. And you guys are going, oh, Fanal showed that like three weeks ago. Yeah, that's what's <laughs> No, don't laugh. Doug will tell you. Doug, I've been looking at your newest pictures. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hi, Margie. Hi, Hector. Yeah, so, you know, I don't always do ships and clouds like this, but when they're this obvious, Doug will tell you. He sent me some UFOs this last 
seven days. And I think the next show I'm going to have on, it's almost done, is uh, Gil's show. So I don't know where Gil is. You're late for the show, Gil. <laughs> Can you hear me, Margie? I think you can. If not, I've been ranting to myself for the whole time. My wife gets to hear me, though. So I'm just kind of taking it slow, guys, throwing different filters so you can see what's really going on. Where do you see the mothership come in and drop this portal off? That's what I, I actually think that's what happened. That sounds nuts, right? So after this video is done, it goes private, guys, because I know they'll take it. Or they'll strike me for it. They already struck me. I had 19 copyrights on this video. I don't know why. On this one song. You hear this song right here? 19 copyrights. Now look at this thing. It gets nuts, guys. Look at the power in there, Doug. That ain't no normal cloud reflecting the sun. So really I don't, you know, dehaze it, clear it up a little bit. Notice the light blue and the dark blue sky, guys. That could just be Alaska with the filter, right? I don't know. I don't see that many dark blue skies like that. Thank you, Margie. Sometimes I wonder if I'm just rambling to myself, which my wife, she could sit there in the car for like a half hour and not say one word. I'll rant about everything. Yeah, Douglas, I like that, that music, 7,000-year-old. I got 19 copyrights on this music. I don't know why. Don't even make sense. Demon Popeye. Look at that. That's a mothership. Now, the, the interesting thing, okay, before I show you, I go back to the front. of This is the end of the video, actually. Look at the little light there, and then look at the red thing there. I was so tripped out looking. You could just... So I think, you know... Um, I don't know what comes through here, guys. Like, that's a red orb coming through. Is that like the red planet we're seeing? And these things just pop out from another dimension? And we see them in the sky? I know, I'm just making stuff up. Hey, I know science. I'm not a scientist on this. I don't think NASA's a scientist on this stuff. I'm showing. Now, like I was saying, I showed you God wrote in the sky. No, now, now. And so I asked him if the rapture come. He said, now. Faith is now. Now, faith is the substance. Okay. I asked them for angels. You showed me angels. I didn't ask them to show you portals uh, or dimensional portals, but he wants you to be prepared. This stuff's real. I'm not making this up. I mean, it would be hard. It'd be hard for me to make this up. And I'm just ranting this off the cuff, right, guys? So, so my little dehazer right there, you see it on the, on the right. That thing is like, oh, that's the only tool you need for filtering because... It did all that. It brought everything out to the open. But look at the force field looking thing around that red ball. See the cloud looking? That's a regular everyday cloud, right? Nope. Nope. That, I, I'm going to say that's demonic as hell itself. Where, whatever this is part of CERN's activity. Oops, said that word. I shouldn't have said it. Sorry, AI. Don't knock me out. But uh, C-E-R-N could be involved with this. Uh, or just could be like, you know, the fallen angels coming down. Um. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a good one, Margie. But well, you don't know what to say about the portal you're showing in the sky. But <laughs> wait till I show you the, the, the whole craft. So I figured I'd show the end of it first, see if I can keep a few people watching. And the difference in the in the light sources between the white on the other clouds and the red inside there. See that? Not right there. It's internal. The power is coming from the internal. It's a ship. Open your eyes! So become aware that we fight not against flesh and blood. So you see all this bickering on the news and all this flesh and blood talking and fighting and arguing. I see this on the left with the demon eyes. God's honest truth. I didn't see that until right before I showed you guys this. 
Look off to the distance, guys. Look, look way off to the distance. You'll see ships coming in. Some of them almost look like cities. If people show cities, um, just kind of going through them. It's a sobering time. Yeah, it's the beast. Now, here we go. Right here. See this big ship right here? This is the whole thing. We've been looking at the tail end. It dropped. This thing dropped off this portal. I ain't making it up. I see it with my eyes. I'm not making none of this up. That's crazy. But you know something? Why not show somebody? I see all kinds of crazy cloud pictures. There's a ship right there on the right. Um, I already passed it. Never mind. See the demon up there snorting with his green eyes. You see that, Doug? I see that. So, you know, I said, well, this is this glorifying Satan, Lord. He said, no, it's preparing people's hearts for what's about what's about to happen on the earth. It's going to be mind blowing. It's going to be way better than any sci fi movie you've ever seen. So that big ship dropped off that tail end and this thing is just powering up. Look at this, guys. Come on. Who can make this up, Doug? What the heck? <laughs> yeah. Well, you see how they were all anchored together, Kyle? All those ships were like, bam, 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 bam. Like, there was different for different operations. Um, I got a video called Hotel Hell, Anunnaki Arrival, whatever. And I uncovered one of these giant clouds with a declouder. Uh, I think Gil liked that video a lot. I might take one of these and decloud it and see what I see behind the clouds. I, it, it's hard to do, but it's doable to take the... The fake off but watch this this is current right here this is chuckamus tower lake this is canada facing southeast and i've showed this a few times um the sun simulators are out of place um don't let it fool you there's not like five signs um it's just you could always guarantee to come here and see some kind of weird sun simulator setup and I think a lot of times what they're doing is they're sitting up. Um, I've actually seen the planets, too. They were trying to hide. But they're sitting up on this Chuckabus piece here. Um, to obscure you from seeing the planets or the fake planets or the projections of planets. Yeah. Yeah. Like I say, you know, when you're looking at his skies, that was right there, his big old green eyes, right? And there's a reason that I caught that. I didn't even notice that until I was doing the filtering like this, guys. <laughs> yeah, Donna. <laughs> what, what leader? Come on, the whole the whole thing, politician thing has gone crazy. Like I say, you know, the principalities are manifesting through leaders' bodies and kings and, and monarchs and presidents and dictators that's how the you know the devil when he comes down in great fury he's going to manifest to a bunch of people's positions in life worldwide so this is pretty interesting in canada if i lived in canada and woke up to see that i might move um quickly i don't feel no earthquake guys we had a lot of smoke for like a week now this is all on the 28th and all six, seven, eight o'clock in the morning. And this is how much stuff was in the sky. It was about an hour playing around. So I figured, throw it in the filter and show you guys. And I mean, I literally got the videos lined up, people. What's up, Jedi? Are you scoping anything out there? Any UFOs or anything? Any trolls lurking in there? Go, Jedi. <laughs> now Gil's video is going to rock so it's not rock and roll it's just all kinds of crazy music um, Gil's going to like it but him and his raccoon productions and for the life of me I can't remember his channel at all so it's good to be live again let's see how long they let me have it that's pretty normal for them to shut me down in May, April, May 
April, usually by the end of May, I'm shut down. Look at this thing. It's like a curl of smoke. Yeah, right. What is that? I found this to be very interesting. It starts out like that. Uh, look at the weird clouds on the left. They just start bugging out with all kinds of frequency stuff going on. Watch when I do the color correction and all. You can see it's a ball with clouds around it. What's a Jedi? What was the Star Wars where they had that ball ship? It looked like a ball. Windows in it. I think that was Star Wars. Yeah, they're blocking my channel. I could show you the graph. You guys would say, why not just quit? <laughs> That's too much fun to do it, you know? And anyways, guys, think about I'm chronologically recording the skies day by day, right? So later on when the world's a mess, I'll say, yeah, let's look through the archives of CCTV. Yeah, he wasn't crazy. He was trying to get us ready. <laughs> but uh, you don't have a lot of friends doing crazy stuff like this, guys. They watch you from a distance. Make sure your mind's not totally gone. Yeah, it, you know, guys, if I talked about all the faces and stuff I see in the skies, you'd totally like lock me up. You know, I showed you, like, the green-eyed demon over there on the left, right? I don't like talking about the devil way too much at all. It only gives Satan no glory at all. But the reason the Lord allows me, I believe, to show you this is to show you, you know, you've been hearing the scripture, we fight not against flesh and blood. Well, in the last days, uh, fallen angels are coming down. So there's all kinds of weird stuff happening. The Chinese, the Indian, everybody recorded it back in the day, you know, six, seven, three, four, five thousand years ago when things were happening. And they pretty much got it right. They were seeing dragons and demons, just like the faces in the Chinese ancient history. They were seeing it because we're seeing it. Good, Kyle. Good. Did you live, learn anything? Hey, Comfort. So, you know, now we're seeing them, and I'm trying to catch them because I woke up to the... I didn't know none of this stuff three years ago, guys. I didn't care about the sky. I like looking at the sunset. But look at this curly cloud. Oh, come on. Tell me that's just a curly cloud, right? That's about the best I can get it to really look at it. <laughs> yeah, so Margie, that's what I do. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I want to say, guys, is it's one thing, you know, talking about the principalities and powers and all the spiritual wickedness in high places and that we pray against it. But now... Um, like that, you know, that demon is just something else. You know, you really don't want to be seeing that too often, but I think God's given us a peek into what's coming down. And you look at the streets of, you know, Seattle and Portland and all these places where they're rioting. These demons are manifesting through 25-year-old kids. You know, doing their chant, destroy America. Come on. Satan comes to kill, steal, and destroy, period. So these kids are manifesting these demons that have fallen from heaven. Because Michael, the archangel, Revelation 12, he just got done throwing his butt down. And so we bind that right now. So when I see stuff like this over my house, you know, I took authority over. Now watch how dark this blue is, guys. This is just that little bit of filter I put on it. Just a dehaze. You can see the triangle ship on top there. But this right here. Just sitting there hiding. So, you know, I, I've seen guys uh, filtering. They go, man, I'm sorry if I'm, I'm I'm filtering extremely. And I'm thinking, I wish I could filter better than this. Um, I try to get to the point where it's like it brings out the 3D effect on what's really happening. Yeah, I've been thinking about that, Kyle. But that's why, you know, I'm telling you. Okay, we're back to the portal, guys. Look how square it is on the right there. 
There's all kinds of stuff in these clouds. I lost my uh, maximizer program, and I just haven't bought it back yet. They don't refund you. Look at this little bubble up here, just floating here. Now, some of this stuff is blue bean. Um, I gotta believe that you know, with disclosure going on with UFOs, that angelic fallen angels are working with the governments to hide a lot of stuff going on in the skies. You know, um, there's just so much going on, you can't explain it. There's no place to explain it. You show it. And it asks, you got Jesus because you're going to need him to get as weird as I think. Look at this thing. This one of the clearest portal type ships I've seen. Um, I've never seen the portal that uncovered. I mean, it's almost like there's, I don't know, guys, almost like a giant structure just floating effortlessly in the back there, the square thing. All right, check that out. So I showed you earlier the radical filter pictures of it, but observe around it too. Um, the bottom left, the bottom left, right under the point, is a couple strange ships. Let me see if I zoom in here. It does not get more weird than this in the clouds. Actually, clarity. Now, we'll be. What I told you guys earlier was I was going to shut this into a private mode after the, the live version here, get AI off of it, and then I'm going to come back with it as a smaller version with music, just like this music on it. Okay? So when it comes back, next time it's going to be the edited version, and uh, leave it at that, right? So you'll still have a. You want to go back and look at it, take pictures of it, investigate it, show people, I don't care. The sky's my canvas. I just grab stuff off of it. I told my, I told my wife it's my niche market. I'm actually uh, trying to get set up in this company that does murals of sunsets and stuff on people's walls, mansions, like giant dining rooms and pool pool areas, inside pool areas. So, Hey, Michael, what's up, man? I'm just showing some, you know, Buck Rogers in the 25th century UFO clouds. Now, you know how I am. I find something interesting once in a while. First time I went live in a while. Anybody see the face on the left? All the way over. I know somebody. I know Margie's seen it already. She took a 30 over it. Margie sees this. But yeah, Margie, any help, you know. I, I stay in the heavenlies. That's why you guys notice I, I'm always walking up in the, into this light beam at the end of the video. That's because I'm, I'm going to go hide in the light. But this is not a normal square cloud. I'm sorry. I don't see normal square clouds. This thing stayed in this horizon for at least 40 minutes, 45 minutes right here. And it, it moved in as it, every 10 minutes it got a bigger shot. But this was one of the clearest shots from a distance. Look at the ship right underneath the square. That's a cylinder type disc. Yeah, now when I take the dehazer right here, that's dehazing it. And this is autocorrect. They do a good job cloaking with those clouds. They make it look really, you know, convincing. Look, there's nothing there. Until you start really resourcing, looking at the fuel system and the power sources inside the portal. And I showed earlier, if you came in late, I showed earlier the portal lighting up. <laughs> Nuts. Thumbs up, guys. This is um, the big blue never right there. We'll go back to that. Jump around a little bit. So I'm going to try to start coming on at least once a week with a live like this, um, pretty organized. Um, but the next video will be Gills, and then I think I'm going to do some of uh, Ken's and Doug's together. They're about the same category. Doug's got this 
I'm going to call it a natural plasma show. He's got clips and clips he sent me. And so, Popo Volcano, Popo Talitia. I don't know how to say it. Anyways, Popo is turning purple in the middle of the night, and the whole sky lights up, plasma just explodes white light and purple light. I'm going to bring that video, and um, I think I'm going to do Doug's on that, because Doug has a multiple planets around the sun real clear but you know doug's got alien invasions on half his video clips he sent me i mean i can't show them all i'd be too scared to show them all you guys see the two orbs on this one pretty clear This is all Alaska. This is facing west. Always look up in the right and left corner or the bottom right and left corner for times and dates because I don't always, you know, put out a big banner. And you guys don't always see the big banner, too. This one, I like the planet behind it or it's one of the giant lens, as some would say. Yeah, we're supposed to get a, up to 117 degree weather in LA. Where I live, is supposed to get to 97 starting Saturday, which usually you get these freak thunderstorms like we had last time I recorded. My angel storms. So an instrument you're listening to is called a doodock. It's a Middle Eastern 7,000 year old instrument, reed instrument, kind of like the same as a saxophone kind of tip. Very nice. I like to have one, but I don't own one yet. Yeah, um, Canada is even worse, Michael, with the uh, cameras in Canada. But you know that, uh, I don't know if you know this, Michael, but the cameras in Alaska, they've been changing them out. A lot better, a lot clearer pictures. I think Gil sent me this picture, guys. I think this will be in Gil's uh, video, too. So, Red Planet, or... I've had people tell me it's the sun that turned off, and now they get the lens, the sun simulator in front, and that's just a, the old sun. Still got power, but no light. And I don't know, you know? I'd like to not believe that. I choose not to believe that. Because... <laughs> Turn the sun off is a big deed. I mean, it's a big deal. Um, now, when Jesus comes back, is there going to be EMP? Yeah. Electrical magnetic pulse? I think so. Because just think, uh, I, I just, I'll just share this with you. Okay. When Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead, the earth didn't shake. But when Jesus rose from the dead, the earth shook and the dead raised from the dead around at the graves and so was there an emp well there was not a lot of power going on so nobody knew but i had to believe there's a whole lot of power going on when he rose from the dead because you see the cloth and it said take a, a nuclear blast for that cloth that had the blood burnt into it so i gotta believe when jesus comes back the dead rise first there's going to be a very big blackout simultaneously you know, maybe earthquake, maybe wormwood coming in as a mountain of fire. I don't know. But I tell you what, I don't want to really be here for that. <laughs> Come on, Michael, really? Say, so, um, I'll send you a link to these filters that uh, Roger gave me. He doubles them up and you can see the planets right around the sun. So I'll send you the link to that. Um, you got my email. Send me an email and remind me, Lens. And I'll just forward you the information. 
So now I've been tracking this guy right here. He's been getting bigger for a long time. Way back about a year ago, I would show you um, in this one location, like a small blue planet or a small reddish planet sometimes. But here it is. It's a giant, giant dark orb. Yeah, these are... I don't know what the name of these were, but these are like... Um, you apply them like kind of like a paper shield you put over the lid. I don't have a lot of knowledge of cameras at that level. Yeah, thank you, Kim Trails. <laughs> now you know why. See the dehazer? I pull the dehazer around my dehaze. It's my best tool. I was watching some of my comments, guys, and the people were like, dang, man, that, that crap's got to be fake, dude. They're talking back and forth, and I'm like, no, it's not fake. I'm just, I'm just showing you what I see. You do whatever you want with it. You guys take a picture and do a show and try to explain it. Like, I'm not going to try to explain something that I don't really know what's happening with. I'm at the point where a lot of stuff is blue beam. Like, I think this thing is real. But a lot of things I show you guys, I, I'll tell you, I believe they're blue beam, straight up blue beam. And I'm starting to wake up to what is blue beam. Or this one, um, I don't know if you can see a little bit of shadow. I'm not sure. Yeah, what about, what about right here is if, if the mountain was reflecting, it would be a wider reflection. Look at the dark reflection right in front of the mountain. I think the mountain reflection would have been larger. But it just reflects in that one small area on the water. Water don't lie. No, lens players can't rotate, can they? I don't think so. I've got a lot of those. Getting too close, Donna. Well, I just, I'm not all burnt out for 20 years, Thomas. Um, you know, I started watching this uh, June 1st. 2017 and I had four visions in 35 years same thing wormwood coming in but I didn't know it was wormwood to the last vision so see guys I'm just trying to show you how that thing that little dark orb is reflecting not the mountain because there's no there's no light source behind the mountain to give it a reason to reflect like that anyways let's move on if you guys jumped in on the end of this, I'm going to leave it up to the morning and then I'm going to go private with it, all right? So, um, now I'm going to come out with the small versions of this thing, of just this, the portal. If you missed the beginning where I show you the portal lighting up and the power source in it, go back and share the video, all right, guys? Um, so, I don't know how many minutes I got left. Only probably about 10 more minutes I'll do this. So this is all the same day. I just woke up off the cuff, started hunting for planets, and there's one after another I caught something. So I threw it in my filter. I figured I'd show you guys live because I knew they gave my live feed back. This is all between 6.30, 7.30, 8.30 in the morning. Sometimes it's hard to uh, explain the unexplainable in the skies. Um, you know, I started out believing when I first started catching captures like this, I was amazed. But then after I learned about Blue Beam and um, disclosure happening, I didn't believe in UFOs at all when I first came on. But you know, now I definitely believe there's some stuff going on. I just showed the, um, if you didn't watch the last video, the Anunnaki video on the side of the ship. Um, that was just mind blowing, still mind blowing to me. I think that's the one where it was like a year ago the guy was arguing with another guy about it not being real, and he's like, No, it's, it's real.
Yeah. There you go, guys. That's reels to come. It's pretty good size celestial body hanging out there in our orbit. And it kind of stays there for the last week, I think, now. It's really hard to capture stuff um, in, a, in a Mexico now, guys. They shut the cameras down. So what you do, you guys that are watching, looking for stuff in Mexico, what you got to do is you got to set it up on your phone so it gives you a, an alert when Mexico goes live on your YouTube on your phone. You just go, whoa, okay. And you go check it out and set up your recorder and that's the only time you're going to get a chance to record stuff because I've seen them take it out in real time within five minutes after they showed it. So one of the way Ken gets all his good footage of Mexico, he stakes it out and he takes it. So he, he'll, he'll send me like 65 pictures of the same night that I turned into a video for you guys. But um, on a lot of stuff, you have to go back and forth the other days to see what they took out because of like I showed you one picture earlier in, in Alaska, they took out an hour and a half. Well, in Mexico, I can go back on their calendar for up to a week on the same time schedule. And usually Planet X comes in real close in different areas for like four days at a time. You follow? So if you go back, you can clip, you could actually see what they tried to hide. And that's how I get some of my good captures. And I put them into a video. So they represent like this is what's going on in the sky. And I know there's no faking it. Real stuff. <laughs> yeah, Margie. They can't do climate change fast enough for this demonic stuff going on in the skies. I think that, you know, the whole row of hurricanes, the whole hurricane going up the East Coast, I think that was weapon war, weapon wars, sky wars, I call them. See that face? Not right. I just had to stop and show you that one. But I noticed that, uh, like on this, like I noticed the sky was real blue, but then the clouds are real dirty, and then the other clouds are real white. Yeah, what's up? Alien activity, fallen angel activity, corrupt activity. So we must be aware, must be awake, must know how to pray, find and loosen. If you don't know Jesus, you must you must be born again. Period. Because it's coming. And people that have been watching uh, Planet X for 20 years, I can see them drifting off, going back to sleep, going, yeah, it's not real. We made a lot of good money on that for a while, guys. It's over. Look at this ship I'm going to show you right here, guys. See it on the right? It's a ship or two planets? I don't know. Right here. I think the bottom one, you see, it looks like a planet, right? Or a big rock ripping through. Okay. Yeah, my computer's having, you see, I'm having a hard time, right? <laughs> I'm using up my resources like crazy. See if I can show you the curl. So I, I think the people that find my channel, I do a lot of, like I do my own advertisement through all the platforms, but I think the people that find my channel are called here to show you, to see what I show you, say what I say, you know? Um, like, yeah, so you got these different types of um, rocks ripping through, right? I like this one guy. This makes him mad when I do this. I put writing on top of it. I show you so much stuff, guys. You're probably getting glad I'm putting writing on. Do I see this little rip up here right in the middle of the page? There's some UFOs on the bottom. They're always watching. There's also like a little, I think there's a little bit of a moon there between the clouds. There's little UFOs down there. There's some ships going on. But why are they here? That's what you got to ask yourself when you're hunting. Why are they here? And I see this little ripple thing. That's a rock or an asteroid or something. That's amazing. I haven't had a lot of gremlins bother me. Look at that. You can really see it on this.
Many times you see that big blue nebula, maybe a small yellow moon. The yellow or yellowish green moon is um, nebula's moon, and they call it a yellow star too. It will take on a form of a star or a sun-looking thing. But that right there, that ripple cloud, is an asteroid or a rock. Debris everywhere. Please don't see this. You can see the debris around the edges of the clouds. Oh, you remember when I had that lightning storm done on that last video there and had the angels? That thing started like 300 fires. And uh, my friend, her house was scorched on the side of it. It burnt the side of our house. It didn't, it didn't catch it on fire, thank God. Um, but anyways, thank you guys for praying for us. We need it. Our right, traffic's getting back up to normal, but it's so weird. Every store you go into, they won't serve you unless you have your mask on. So I put it on my wrist, but they still won't let you in. So everybody's afraid. Everybody obeys the rules. Um, I have my doubts about all the CV stuff, I call it. So these are all the pictures in one day, one morning I found. 82820. You can see the rock on this one flying through right there. That's a rock or a moon. That's some kind of debris going through. This one, still part of the other pictures I've been showing you. This one's got a ship right in the front of it, or something weird. There you go, I twisted on that one. And that rock on the in between the middle. Oh, solutions, you're killing it out there, man. What kind of camera are you using? Uh, solutions for humanity. Welcome to my channel, bro. I think this first time I talked to you on my uh, chat. I did a shout out video for because your videos were good enough to do a shout out video on. <laughs> and I rocked them out too. So I don't usually do rock and roll. Okay, guys, look up in here in the corner here. You see this green Nepicity smoke? I think the pissy throws all that green off, and this right here, this one in the background is really clear, round. Yeah, solutions. Uh, get some crazy filters and see what you can get midday if you get some planets or some moons around the sun. That would be cool. And uh, I don't know if you got my uh, email. If you want to send me anything by email, it's the best way to do it. Here's my email if you want to send anything. Um, not too big because then it might crash my email, but sometimes AI takes out my pictures. That's been happening in one, one of the subs here. Um, what's her name? Gina. She sent me like five emails full of pictures and they're gone. The emails were there, but the pictures are gone. Doug does it all the time. Douglas will send me something and, the, and the, all the pictures will be gone. So there's a few things going on here. You got that like dark round half moon circle planet right there. And actually it goes all the way down past that cloud. It's pretty big. It's not just a little planet. It's a pretty good size blue planet. You got the two clouds. You got the green on the right hand corner right there. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. So what happens is, like, um, if you look at, I don't have it on here, but if you look at Samuel Hoffman's model, even, like, the big white, almost looks like a white giant sun. That's, that's not two's moon. But his planets, they're not as close as they look to be because they're so big. They're far off. Um... On the next video of Gills, I'm going to show you at the end of the video. Hi, Kimmy. What's up? 
I'm going to show you at the end of the video um, the sun with the planet and like five or six planets around it coming around the sun. Real clear, infrared. I think it was a NASA slip up or something, but I see right here how I'm showing you these planets are layered. They're coming at us. And people say, no, nah, you see imagination, that's just clouds. Uh -uh. I've seen too many of them. And on the left side, this planet is coming down. The clouds are the dead giveaway. They're kind of like popcorn y looking ripples. Same with uh, all the different planets. They'll reflect the colors of their planets. Now, I got a filter on this, but all it does is bring out the true color. You gotta remember too, you're looking at the dark side of the planet if the sun's behind it. Yeah, Kyle, that's what um that's what Gina told me. She sent me a, a link for that. It's just a free one, all right? I might start using it just for my pictures. I hate to change everybody's email though in the middle of everybody sending me stuff on the one email, but I can incorporate it for top secret stuff, you know, because it's encrypted. <laughs> you like that? AKA the artificial sun has come. So I don't know, people say with the giant lens behind the sun, that's actually the sun burnt out. Then I heard it was a giant lens. My take on it, it's all part of the lens system, just reflecting and making us all crazy. Uh, blue beam is definitely projecting stuff. <laughs> so, you know, I take everything with a grain of salt. Who knows how real it is? That's why you can't get the science on this stuff. You're going to notice the different blues when you look at your skies. Notice the blues, different periwinkles, dark blues, light blues. Yeah, I like free on my budget. I don't have a budget for this program. My office is my couch and a box of stuff. And look at the debris in this red cloud, guys. I was pretty fascinated by it. A lot of this is the oxide, the debris, it's just shining off from the sun really good. Man, I had so much hard, I said I had such a hard time with the bandwidth trying to come on. I almost didn't do the show, but then it cleared up. I don't know what happened, but it cleared up. I restarted everything, which was like a half hour <laughs> right before the show. So I was like going, man, I had it all ready. So you're going to start seeing more fireball activity. Um, I have some cameras I monitor and I don't see a lot of fireballs right now, but um, they're out there. Do you get a lot of shots of those, Michael? You get a lot of those fireballs ripping the atmosphere. Can you tell the difference between a space junk and the fireballs? Is the space junk more on fire? <laughs> I mean, does it burn brighter or like more smokier? So I think this is debris fields right underneath the planet on the right. Oh, Carolyn, come on. I, I actually put this music on because it's such a sobering time. I want you guys to got to feel it a little bit. Crazy skies, portals opening up. If you didn't see the beginning of the video, you got to go back to the beginning. I'm winning on thumbs up, guys. 31 to 24 watchers. That's pretty good. So I'm going to try to... So I work now from like 12 to 5, 6 o'clock at night, so... I'm going to try to start coming with at least one live show like this on maybe Thursday, Friday night.
No comment. Anyways. So the planet, like you see this big black spot? The planet's probably a lot smaller than that big black spot. But it's, it's causes atmosphere, it causes this shadow that looks big. And this is what I wanted to see, the debris. Now, I got all this comes out, guys, on um, 1080p. Comes out on 1080p, and uh, the yard stream, unless I buy the full year version or whatever, knocks it down to 720, so you can't go any higher than 720, but it's still pretty good. Yeah, you know, Carolyn, and last one I did, hey, I did uh, ELP. Welcome to the show, my friends, the show that never ends. Come aside, come aside. So I kind of mix the music up. You'll get this, and then I'll get like two rock and Christian songs, right? Then I'll put some. Oh, the next one, Gil's one, is all uh, high tech techno. It's actually pretty good. I gotta bring you some culture. You guys need culture. You can't, you can't get stuck on one music. They stereotype you. They'll be prejudiced about those people that just listen to rock and roll or this, or those people that just look at the rap or this. That's all stereotype. You gotta listen to everything. That's my take. There's the rock. The big blue planet on the right. See the purplish blue? It's all playing out, guys. The question is, how could these same type of sunsets, these same type of sunsets, right? How could they all be the same all over the world? I mean, a little bit. But Mexico's got the best electrical storms ever. Plasma coming out of the eyebrows, you know? I think I think the plasma strikes making Ken crazy. <laughs> you can't you see all the swirls around that black ball ripping through the atmosphere? I'm not making it up. Come on. This is seventeen thousand year old culture I'm letting you absorb. Why you watch an ancient binary solar system fly through our solar system? Welcome to the madness. <laughs> now you guys don't see spaceships on that, you're blind. Or you're not voting for Biden, I don't know which one it is. Never mind, don't don't answer the Biden thing. Sorry. Look at this. What do you think this is? A whole stack of UFOs, or is it just a hotel? I like it, whatever it is. It's pretty cool looking. Yeah, I think we're going to see a lot of fire. So where are you at, Michael? You're in Arizona? No, you're in UK. UK. Arizona is a lot of fireballs people are catching. So you just watch a live show from that Michael has bothered you, right? <laughs> Later, Kyle. You have a good one, man. This is almost over. I think it's going to go to like uh, 15 or something here. 15 minutes after. 10, 11 minutes after, I think. Oh, it's a one, one, I think it's a 111 video by accident again. If it is, I wouldn't be surprised. So I finally understand 111. Hebrews 111. Now faith is. Anyways, guys, I think that's all I'm going to do here. And I'll talk to you later. Let it, let it play out. Um, there's not much of an ending. There's a ship right here I'm going to show you before I leave you. There's a TRP3 3B. But the front of this cloud is definitely something strange. Not that one, but the one on top. That's a TRB3. The, one on, the bottom one's got some bottom stuff there. Yeah, Margie. Sometimes you guys wake me up too quick. It shocks me. So I learned at the speed of light, all this weird stuff going on. 
And remember, I'm like a three-year-old baby, like a sponge. I'm absorbing, learning, waking up. You know, I'm starting to look at Bigfoot as being real. That's crazy, right? Come on. No, I've been watching the serious researchers. I'm thinking that it might be just, you know, all the giants, leftovers, waiting for their moms and dads to come down, which I didn't believe in any of that. Even talk about that, I didn't even know about it. <laughs> so I tell you guys, it's going to be a weird night. I didn't lie to you. If you didn't watch the front, the beginning of this, go back. Just slide that thing back, guys. You'll stay live on the chat as long as you guys stay live on the chat, I think. That's a pretty good sized ship right there, Michael. It's almost like you can see a long pointed nose, tapered back with a windshield. Well, I could probably show you videos, Donna, of stuff like that happening, where um, it looked like the ships were, reach, um, you know, pushing away the planets. <clears throat> One night, Laura came in and she said, check this out, Chris. And it ended up being like a planet that was a missile shot at it or something. So that video is in the archive somewhere under, um, it was all sky cam. It was amazing capture. We just saw so I turned to it, live video like this, and we watched it actually happen in real time. They couldn't take the video out. We already seen it. But this thing right here is pretty surreal, trying to cover up the edge of the planet. You see how dark blue it is on top and it comes down. This thing just tries to obscure the whole thing. The CRB is just, you know, the American Space Force. And the right bottom there um, looks like a Star Trek ship. I'm just joking on the bottom underneath this one. I'm drawn out. I remember the first time I watched a guy show up pictures like this on Facebook. I'm like, these people have lost their mind. They need Jesus. That's why God sent me here. These people have lost their mind. Now, it's like three years later. I'm going, check out this space cloud, right? <laughs> No, because I see what's really going on, the deception that's been going on for a long time. I'm glad I only started three years ago. I couldn't imagine doing this for 15 years, showing people this craziness. <laughs> it's crazy, right? Anyways. And you got that rock on top. They're ripping through with those curls. Yeah, these ships are small compared to God, Jedi. These ain't nothing. I'm pretty sold that, you know, the whole thing with uh, with Egypt and Pharaoh and the plagues are all going to repeat itself. A um, little bit different. I like man trying to block asteroids. That's just ludicrous. Yeah. Look at that. We can see. The rocks and moons and debris and spaceships. Deceptive skies. You don't want to get this filter, guys, because you won't get off of it. It's kind of addicting. Especially if you're in the filtering sky pictures. You might get stuck for days. I think some of you guys could watch this for five hours, but like me. And remember, this video is going to be up for like to tomorrow sometime. I'll go private and then I'll come out with a disc with the music only on it. It's already copyrighted, so it'll be a brand new version of it. It might be a little bit shorter, a lot shorter. Or new music, I don't know. There you go, that's a little rock right there. You can see it. Kind of get a glimpse of it, a little black round rock moon or something ripping through. Yeah, it's there. They're going so fast, uh, skipping off of our orbit or something. I don't know, they create space clouds or whatever.
This is the best part of my video right here, guys. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In Him will I trust. Thumbs up, folks. Surely Good He night. shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not you guys be all have a good night. terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by that. day. Okay, keep your eyes the open for Gil's movie. Talk darkness, to you later. Nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. Thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. That's all, folks. Later, people. God bless. Sleep tight. Or wake up bright and shiny if you're on the other side of the globe. Hey, 1J, you sneaking in or you're just hiding out? Talk to you later. Bye.